Hi there, it's me again with um, some more reactions to the Australian Royal Commission. I hope I'm not wearing out your patience with all these, but uh, at least they'll be out um, as a source of reference in the future for people. I think it's important. Uh, earlier in the, the year I did uh, a video on contrasting the Uniting Church in Australia, their reaction to the Commission and their own problems with child abuse, contrasting that with Watchtower's reactions. The Uniting Church, as a reminder, they formed in 1977. Mainly they were a joining up of Methodist and Presbyterian churches. Obviously they formed a larger whole as that. They have been criticised, as I said. Uh, now this is the, their home page. Just put in Uniting Church Australia and you'll, you'll find it up. On their home page, I'll scroll down, Uniting Church News, there we have it. There's no looking around, it's there in front of you, Royal Commission Final Report. And um, they have a lot of, lot of information on their reactions to it. And it's just so interesting to contrast and compare. Because remember, in Jehovah's Witness land, the, these are run by Satan. This is run by Satan, this is Babylon the Great. But if you can find anything um, about this in on Watchtower's comprehensive, hard to navigate site, let me know because all you'll find is that this is apostate lies. So you'll see they've made another statement, Thursday the 14th of December, Royal Commission, final report. And they do a summary, and you, you can even click through, can see the links. So they've put in a pastoral statement issued to coincide with the end of the Royal Commission. Mr. McMillan has welcomed the Commission's final report and thanked the Commissioners and staff for their work which is appropriate, instead of saying, they're our enemies, oh, they're, they're persecuting us. No, thank you. <clears throat> we will consider the final report carefully, reflect on its findings and recommendations and implement measures to deliver the best quality of care, service and support for children in our churches, agencies and schools. Now, of course, that could just be talk. Talk is cheap, but it, it does seem beyond that with what I'm reading. <clears throat> And they put that out there so they can they can be held to it and criticised if they don't hold to it. Now watch this and please watch Tower. Oh, you need to learn from Babylon the Great. At this time, I would again, again, like to sincerely apologise to all children in our care who suffered sexual abuse in our church, whether it happened after our foundation in 1977 or before that in our predecessor churches. There's a, um, a, a roundup of um, numbers there. You can click through. You see, they're giving you a click through to the final report about the message to Australia. People can put a personal message. He says, we must never forget the courage of survivors who've come forward to tell their stories in public and in private, said Mr. McMillan. The Uniting Church will continue to work constructively with government and other stakeholders for a truly national redress scheme as the most equitable way to support survivors wherever they might be. They're talking about paying up money there, <coughs> which if that's your goal, that's not going to be good, you see. You can find out where their heart lies. Is, is it in their purse? Hmm. Is it in their bank account? Or is it with the flock? Our church's commitment is that we will seek to make amends and strive to ensure others will not suffer as they have. Good. Our prayers and a determined focus will be required if we are to build a robust culture of child safety. On this occasion to I want to acknowledge the extensive and invaluable body of work produced by the Royal Commission and its staff and remind all church members of our solemn commitment to child safety that is informed by the Commission's work. 
they've said with the collaboration of synods and many others across the church, they've begun applying the learnings at the Royal Commission through a national child safety policy work framework. Be continuing the work of implementation through the National Royal Commission Task Group and support staff. So you can see all this it seems holistic. I urge all church members to remain vigilant. So that's good. They are warning them on the ground, whereas you've got Stephen Lett in 2015 telling members, <laughs> it's fine, you know, we, we love our children. You know, it, we... we it's a, it's a lovely organisation. Well, there, of course there are good people in, in Jehovah's Witness. Of course there are and good parents. But they need to be told to be vigilant. Because someone has the label brother or elder or ministerial servant, that doesn't mean they're safe. Sadly, sadly, I know. So they're urging people to remain vigilant, focused on child safety. You can And look, if you want information you can get it you try getting a safeguarding policy from watchtower katie kitten did it on her channel she just got fobbed off she couldn't get it that's in the uk in the years ahead may god grant us the strength and wisdom to honor our pledge to be the safest church we can be for children now that's interesting as well i'm just comparing that with um sorry ideas occurred to me with the broadcast from jw.org Churches, I'm used to other churches kind of being, you know, we pray to God, we ask God's strength, may God grant us. With Jehovah, with Watchtower, it's, we are, that's it, we are. I don't get the sense of continuing asking and humility before God. The pastoral statement includes prayers for uniting church members to mark the end of the Royal Commission in personal or corporate worship. Pastoral statement and prayers. So this was strange to actually have a prayer given to you to say because mine would always be from me. You know what I mean? You'd say it, but um, we've got prayers here somewhere. They came up. So look, they've got prayers. For those who have experienced abuse. Great. So even if you're not going to do this, you can. But it gives you an idea of where they are. And help us honour survivors' stories by ensuring our church is the safest place we can make it. Oh, for children in our care. Lord, hear us. Lord, hear our prayer. And a prayer for the Royal Commission. Isn't that right? Don't you think that is so right? Because they are a tool that can be used for good. So pray, yeah, absolutely pray that pray for them and give thanks for them, and then for the church. So that was kind of felt a bit bittersweet because why isn't the 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 true channel of God acting like that? We've got to keep your eyes open for these comparisons. They, they keep us awake. Thanks for watching. Bye.